So last week, we introduced to you the lady that is known as Philomena Alexis Batiste. Hello, Mr. Joel. She is back. Hello, how are you? I go holding it down and I'm just excited because I'm back in the kitchen. You're back in the kitchen. And I love the kitchen, you know. So you we decided that Philo would be here every foodie Friday with us because Philo last week jumped us and showed us how easy it is to cook on a budget. Definitely. Because, you know I mean, that is a real thing. We are being encouraged to tighten our belts now. Correct. Because but, things are not as rosy as they were in years gone by. Correct. And, but mm -hmm. what I was also trying to show people, the same $100 you're going to spend to buy a chicken and chips, you could spend and buy something that is going to be more nutritious for your family. And on top of that, it's not going to take you long to prepare. Because I know the, the pressure is... You know, after you spend two hours in traffic, boy, I had to go home and cook. And, cook, yeah, and yeah. I had to do laundry. So again, you think that could cook now for now, you understand? And still stay within that budget. Nice. So hold your money, and if you is spending it, making sure you're getting the best nutrition that you could get for your money. So meals, not, not a set of fry oil. Meals on a budget, as well as nutritional Correct as well. Correct as right. What are you doing this one? I'm right. seeing shrimp. Shrimps. Now, a lot of people think shrimps. Shrimps. Shrimp. Shrimp. Well, use your godfather. <laughs> you understand? We're doing shrimps, right? Now, a lot of people feel that shrimps is expensive, but it, you have to put things in perspective. You understand what I say? So, right now, shrimps is $30 a pound. That is with the head. But if you're going to a grocery, you could get a pack with 31 to 40 shrimps for $61. You understand what I say? Now, you need to buy the shrimps with the shell on, not the head. The head does bring the weight, unless your family like to make fried shrimp head. In Madrid, that just tastes good, you know, Mr. Joel. In Madrid. You ever eat that? Yeah, no. And you don't have Chinese, you never eat that anyway, <laughs> right? So, we're making shrimps, right. not because you're on a budget, mean you can't eat nice, you understand? Once in a while, you ought to treat yourself, life is for the limit. So, what we do with the shrimps? Well, we're making, we're making a coconut curry shrimp, and this is not hard, right? Coconut curry shrimp? Shrimps, yes. Shrimp? Yes. Right, so we have the coconut milk here. This is Maggie coconut milk, two packs, and I dilute it, or I make it up ready. So how the pack says. So we put all the stove on it, thank you very much. So we're going to put in the coconut milk in there, right? Now what I like about this coconut milk, you see any coconut in the coconut milk. Yes, you understand yes, yes, what yes, I yes, say? Yes. And you ain't no bifocal, just see it. Right, so we have that there, right? Thank you, Mr. Joel. You're welcome. And what we're going to do now, we have this um, ginger, curry, and lime juice, mm. right? So we're going to put in all of that, coconut curry shrimp. So the next thing we're going to put in is a tablespoon of curry. Wait, this is a real fancy yeah, spoon. Yeah, a party, a right, party. let me see if I can get it in there and get it. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. 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 Nice. I'll put a little more, right? Just a little more because I didn't know. This is a real fancy spoon. I had it, Mr. Joel. Right. So I have this one tablespoon of curry there, right? We're going to put in a tablespoon of lime juice. Now, all you all see this in the grocery, sometimes there's the better buy. You understand what I say? Because when you buy them lime and you ain't get no juice, when you buy this one, you're sure you're getting juice, Is right? that fresh lime juice in there? Well, they say it's from concentrate. You understand right, what right, I say? Right, but right. I say this better than buying lime and right. not getting no stretch, juice yeah, at all. It's stretch, you understand? It's stretched a little better. Correct. Yes. Right? So, one tablespoon of lime juice, if you have it fresh, even better. Right? And you put that in there. Right? And two tablespoons of fresh grade ginger. So you only need like two little finger ginger. But mm -hmm. ginger is not really cheap, but the health benefits mm -hmm. is very great. And the flavor. And the flavor. No, oh, we're not God. The flavor of so ginger, we want yeah. two tablespoons of grade ginger. I do this, I grate it. One. For me, I put in oil, yes, because yeah, I like yeah. the ginger. Yeah, Plus, yeah. it will keep away the high blood pressure and whatnot, right? Mm -hmm. So you're bringing all of this now to a boil till it thickens. Right? So we have the, the, the stove on high day. Yes. And it thickening. Yeah. Starts to bubble it, up already. Yes. But you want to make sure all that curry dissolves. Oh, mm -hmm. that, that flame real high there. You could turn that here because yeah. my hand cooking too. <laughs> you understand? It's not coconut curry shrimp and fellow hand. <laughs> right? You could even take it. Wait, this is a real powerful stove. Yeah, yeah. Right. So you see all that bubbling nice there. Nice. And it's going to evaporate and it's going to get a little thicker. Nice. Now, if you want... You could still add a little tomato and uh, green pepper, my favorite two vegetables, of course, to this, and even some cauliflower, right? It's all about if you want to put but it, what you have. That will take up the cost a little more, Philo. 
It will, well, not by much, because remember, mm. we put in three or four tomato. That is right, a $3, okay. right? Mm -hmm. A green pepper, that is a $6, right? And last night I work it out, even if you put tomato and green pepper in this, this meal is still not crossing $100 and for four people. Four people mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. And if you, if you regulate the shrimps, and you give everybody four instead of six or eight, well, better for it yet. You understand what I say? So we're right. bubbling up nice, eh? We're bubbling up nice. We have this everything in there. And yes. watch this, eh? Turn this down low for me. Shrimps is a thing that is cooked fast. If it overcook, it come like rubber. You understand? You know your rubber in school when you're rubbing off your pencil thing? That's how it does feel, right? So when the no shrimp is cooked from the time it turns pink, it cook, you understand, which is three seconds. So we're on low, and we're going to now put in the shrimps, right? Can and I mix... enjoy watching you cook? Thank you, Mr. Joel. Yes, yes. Thank you, Mr. Joel. But I'm not coming home and cooking my <laughs> oil, you understand, right? You's a big chef, you could handle that. You're too advantageous, you understand? If you want me to cook by you, you ought to pay me more money. Yeah. Right. Yeah, okay. So we're just going to let this cook. Which is going to be, I say, a minute or two. Because you can see the, the shrimps that start to curl up yeah. in the pot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it start to get pink. Yeah. Right? So once you have that going on. So, as I said before, you could add a green pepper and three tomato or four tomato or a little cauliflower. Or you have bumped to add nothing. Yeah. It could eat just so because the coconut milk is rich in iron. Yeah, It has fat, yes, but... We need a little fat. You can't have a diet without fat. You understand what I say? It also has its potassium, right? The shrimps, iodine, you understand? Potassium, calcium. The shrimps have that in it. Now, the shrimps have a way of balancing off your good cholesterol with your bad cholesterol. But if you eat too much shrimps, correct. Cholesterol. Like you're the godfather of everything, <laughs> right? Right? So the cholesterol, it does actually help you balance off your good cholesterol with your bad cholesterol. Of course, anything that you overdo ain't going to be good for you. You understand what no, I no. said? Right. Yeah. So, let me see. If I don't look and cook there. Yeah. I really want to taste your... Right. Your... So, I make a rice. No, a cup of rice. Not bad at all. So. Well, he watching me slide, you know? Yeah, he watching no. me slide. It's, it's five children I have. It's you understand? five children. Five children with three different child fathers, so you know. Yeah, I remember you gave me that And story. none of them are paying maintenance, so yeah. I don't know what you're doing, right? So that ready, that ready there, though. That ready, that though. Shrimp, that shrimp, and that shrimp nice. rice is the cheapest thing it have all you. You understand? A kilo of rice now is $10.29 in the grocery. You understand? So when you cook two cup of rice yes. home, you really cooking $4 in rice. $4. That's cheaper than a doubles. Right? And it's healthier for you. You understand? <laughs> you ready, Fred? Yes, I all right, yes now. Nice, I'm taking off the stove there. The shrimp literally cooks so quickly. That, yes, yeah. so you understand, if you reach home, you could make this whole meal here yes. in half hour or less. But you you understand? You gave me a little bit of shrimp though. No, you could get more shrimp. Yeah. Use a real train. You know, train yeah. like shrimps, yeah. especially when they go by other people's house. <laughs> you understand? You can't see shrimps in their house at all, mm -hmm. but they love shrimps. Right, you want more shrimps? Clayton was near first. Well, I, told but you, I did not go to THT. You did? <laughs> like you. So All right. This meal uh -huh. on a budget, you, you would say we this spent meal, about $100. Uh, this meal on a budget, we spent $100. And we're feeding four people. Each person is getting between six and eight shrimps. Because the pack of shrimps does never tell you. They just tell you you'll get between 31 and 40 shrimps. It's like a brand tub. It does not know what you're going to get. Right? But. You're feeding your family with that, and you expose your family to little shrimps. It can be chicken and beef and pork and all these other things. What do you think? So this is very good. Thank you very much. This is very you understand? Good. But you can't put me in house. Eh? No? I have my own house Three? already. Yes. And plus I have another man already. Thank you. <laughs> another man? No, the same one. The same one. Stop minding my business, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Meals on a budget could fill out here every food you Friday. Um, yeah, for those good, we have some interesting news and show you how you can cook on a budget. Correct. You don't have to spend hundreds so of dollars. So the hundred dollars and you would only get eight pieces of chicken, some chips and a big jelita of sugar. You could have come home and make that in two twos. You right. understand? And you could have buy the shrimps frozen in the grocery. Just put it in the sink in some water. In a matter of 10 minutes, that shrimps is store. You season with a little salt and black pepper. Ready to cook. Come back next week, right? All right. Come back next Thank week. Thank you, Mr. Joel. Hello. Meals on a budget every foodie Friday here. And you can get this recipe, her coconut curry shrimp, on trinicooks.com. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right.
We're going back. <laughs> <laughs>